Published, 6.51 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 2nd of April 2018, updated, 12.54 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 2nd of April 2018 Tough remote rules will be rolled out across Britain next month with drivers warned they face a fine of up to £2,500 if caught out under the stringent new measures. Motorists could face the hefty penalty if they put their car in for an early mow before their previous certificate runs out, and they continue to drive the vehicle if it fails. Even though a certificate may run for another couple of months, if a vehicle does not pass the moat made tougher by the new rules, motorists will face a fine if caught because the vehicle is recorded as no longer road legal on a national database. Drivers are being reminded of the dangers, which included driving ban and points on your license. Ahead of new moat rules set to be introduced across Britain on May 20, the changes include new defect types listed as dangerous major and minor, stricter rules for diesel car emissions, and some vehicles over 40 years old becoming exempt. Tougher moat rules are set to be rolled out across the UK next month, as motorists are warned of a £2,500 fine if their vehicle fails a test carried out before the current certificate expires. Tougher moat rules are set to be rolled rolled out across Britain next month, with changes including new defect types listed as dangerous major and minor pictured left the current certificate, while the new certificate, which will be used from May 20, is shown right a spokesman. For the RAC raised fears about the implementation of new categories, adding that they would be open to interpretation by different garages, Simon Williams said, rather than mo failures simply being black and white, the new system creates the potential for confusion as testers will have to make a judgment as to whether faults are dangerous, major, or minor. This will surely be open to interpretation which may lead to greater inconsistency from one test center to another. Motorists may also struggle to understand the difference between dangerous and major failures. The current system ensures that any vehicle with a fault that doesn't meet the mo requirements is repaired appropriately before being allowed back on the road. Under the revamp, the test will categorize the seriousness of all faults and defects on a vehicle, from minor, to major, and finally dangerous. Any car that has a major or dangerous fault will automatically fail the test with even tougher rules surrounding those who are driving cars fueled with diesel. Cars running on diesel can automatically fail should any smoke emit from their exhaust. For instance, drivers are being reminded of the dangers, which include a driving ban and points on your license. Ahead of new mode rules set to be introduced across Britain on May 20, new, stricter rules have also been introduced for lights, with reverse, front fog and daytime running lights all added to the safety test. Reversing lights on vehicles first used from September 2009, daytime running lights on vehicles first used from March 2018 and front fog lights on vehicles first used from March 2018 will also be added to the test, the latest. Mo figures for 2016 show that more than 2.4 million cars had their first test that year, which costs owners a maximum of £54.85 pence working out at over £130 million in outgoings for the nation's drivers. The pass rate is around 85%, meaning some 360,000 vehicles flunk their first examination. The most common reasons for failure include lighting, tires and braking faults. New checks are set to be introduced across Britain on May 20. These include, if tires are obviously underinflated, if the brake fluid has been contaminated for fluid leaks posing an environmental risk brake pad warning lights and if brake pads or discs are missing checks to see if reversing lights on vehicles first used from the 1st of September 2009 are working checks to see if headlight washers on vehicles first used from the 1st of September 2009 if they have them are working checks to see. If daytime running lights on vehicles first used from the 1st of March 2018, most of these vehicles will have their first mow in 2021 when they're 3 years old, or working there will be stricter limits for emissions from diesel cars with a diesel particulate filter, DPF, you'll test vehicles to the manufacturer's plate value, when present, or a new lower default limit for newer vehicles. You'll also give a major fault if you can see smoke of any color coming from the exhaust. Find evidence that the DPF has been tampered with. These new mode checks will sit alongside the existing ones, which will now be subdivided into three categories, minor, major and dangerous. They are body, vehicle structure and general items that they're free from excessive corrosion or damage in specific areas that there are no sharp edges likely to cause injury to bars The bars will be inspected for secureness, condition, inappropriate repairs or modification fuel system The fuel system will be inspected too. Check that, there are no leaks, the pipes and hoses are secure and in a good condition, the fuel cap fastens and seals securely You should make sure that the key is available as the fuel cap will need to be opened. Exhaust emissions The vehicle will be inspected, depending on the age and fuel type of the vehicle, to check that it meets the rules for exhaust emissions. 
diesel vehicles the mo tester will refuse to test your vehicle if they think that the smoke test may damage your engine you should tell them at the start of the mo if you think this may happen exhaust system exhaust system will be inspected to check that it's secure and complete a catalyst isn't missing where one was fitted as standard and it's without serious leaks and not too noisy seat belts the vehicle will be inspected to check that the mandatory seat belts are in place they are suitable for the vehicle they are in a good condition they work properly and they are attached secure live malfunction indicator lamps mills or dashboard warning lights will be checked for the airbags seat belt pretensioners which remove the slack from a seat belt in the event of a collision, and seat belt load limiters, which release a small amount of belt when it's too tight. Seats these will be inspected to check that the driver's seat can be adjusted, and all seats are securely fitted and that seat backs can be fixed in the upright position doors. These will be inspected to check that the latch is secure in the closed position, the front doors open from inside and outside the vehicle, the rear doors open from outside the vehicle, and hinges and catches are secure and in a good condition. Mirrors the vehicle will be inspected to check for the minimum number of mirrors, their condition and security. Indirect vision devices will also inspect it. Load secure type vehicle will be inspected to check that the boot or tailgate can be closed properly. Brakes these will be inspected to check their condition, including inappropriate repairs or modifications, their operation and performance, the efficiency test, the wheels and trims aren't removed as part of the test, the anti-lock braking system, abs and electronic stability control, ESC, where fitted, the mills or dashboard warning lights will also be checked for the abs, ESC, electronic park brake and brake fluid warning lights. Tires and wheels, these will be inspected to check for condition, security, tire size and type and tread depth. Spare wheels and tires are not inspected. Vehicles first used on or after the 1st of January 2012 will be checked to make sure the tire pressure monitoring system, TPMS, mill is working. Registration plates, these will be inspected to check for condition, secure attachment, color, and characters correctly formed and space plates, these will be inspected to check their condition, operation, including high intensity discharge, hid and light emitting diode LED, the headlamps for cleaning, self-leveling and security, headlamp aim, and main beam warning light working bonnet, this will be inspected to check that it closes securely. Wipers and washers these will be inspected to check that they work properly so the driver has a clear view of the road. Windscreen the windscreen will be inspected to check for condition and the driver's view of the road horn this will be inspected to check that it works properly and it's suitable for the vehicle steering and suspension these will be inspected to check their condition steering oil level they work correctly for inappropriate repairs or modification including corrosion to power steering pipes or hoses and that the steering lock mechanism works proper live mills or dashboard warning lights will also be checked for the electronic power steering and steering lock Vehicle Identification Number Van The van will be on vehicles first used on or after the 1st of August 1980. The car will be inspected to check that a single van is displayed, except on multi-stage build vehicles, e.g. van conversion, BMW, Alpina, etc. Electric Al Visible Electrical Wiring and the battery will be checked. New checks are set to be introduced across Britain on May 20th. Stock image.